Hello, and welcome to, excuse me, welcome to Effect Skateboarding's fourth Blender 3D tutorial. And uh, I'm still using Blender 2.4a, because it's the newest version, and uh, once again, if you haven't upgraded to it, I recommend you do. There's a bunch of great features, and uh, I think it's just really good, you know, has a couple more advantages compared to... Uh, the older versions, such as 2.46, or the, the original 2.48. Um, a lot of users still at 2.46 because it is one of the better versions of Blender. Um, Blender 2.48a, uh, I haven't found any bugs with yet, either, except for, um, uh, to let you know if you guys are more advanced out there. Um, in game mode, if you create a sphere and somebody if you decide to use convex hull for some reason um because i was trying to search out for bugs and i found one in a game mode if you make a a rigid body i'll show you real quick if you go say this was a sphere make a uh, rigid body make sure it's an actor keep everything like this make the bounds a convex hull as it's as if you have it rolling on a plane or, or on a flat soft surface um, it'll, it'll start to roll, and it'll act as if it hit a wall and bounce backward, and then it'll roll a little bit farther, and then bounce back a little, roll farther, and ke it'll keep repeating that same annoying, really, really annoying process. So, um, that's just a quick, uh, tip to, uh, uh, advanced, uh, Blender users, or intermediate. So anyway, um, why don't we get started with our next Blender tutorial on making a simple scene. So, a lot of people probably wonder, well, maybe not a lot, but some people probably wonder, well, I want to make a scene, but I'm not sure where to start. Well, today we're not going to be making, like, a real-life scene, like a kitchen or a living room or, you know, outside or something. It's going to be more, I guess you can call it an abstract scene. Um, we're going to be making a simple scene. It's going to have a, a, using a plane and a couple other of the regular shapes. A plane's going to be the floor. Uh, we're going to uh, work w with some lighting in today's tutorial and uh, creating some shapes and sizing them and uh, getting the right effects. So why don't we uh, start our tutorial. Um, make sure you're in top view and space add mesh plane. Um, press zero to go into camera view so you know the size of it when you render and uh, increase the size until it's just bigger than the edges of this. Now this isn't going to have any walls, this is going to be a flat scene. So go back in the top view, make sure you are not in um, perspective view, which is 5, and if you look, uh, everything kind of like rounds off, and then if you're in regular mode, it kind of, every, all the lines are straight and stuff, um, you can, you'll uh, figure it out. And if you're not in perspective view, all the lines will be perfectly straight and parallel. Otherwise, they'll get big right here and then real small down there and whatnot. So, uh, try to stay out of uh, perspective view for now. So, um, go back into your top view near the center. Uh, space, add mesh. Um, let's, let's go with a cube for now. Now, press 1 to go to front view and Z to go into wireframe mode. So, now you can see your plane instead of it being invisible in uh, object mode. I mean, uh, solid mode, solid view. So, um, just press the G key and the Z key to go up and down, and just drag it so it looks all like it's almost setting on the on the floor there. And go into your camera view, and it's a bit too big. Let's size it down. Go back into uh, front view, drag it down. Sorry if I'm going fast, but we do have a good amount of information to cover. So, you know, drag it out, say uh, there. And uh, we'll create another object. Let's make a... Uh, we'll pick one that you want. Uh, let's even go with a monkey. How everybody likes a monkey. So, uh, as you see, we're looking at its chin. So press the R key, the X key, and uh, it's going to you have to rotate positive 90. So just put uh, type 90 in your number pad and then press enter. Now you have a monkey. Now press the R key, the Z key, and press uh, type 45 about. Now go into your uh, camera view, um, or uh, front view actually. Drag it up so his chin is just setting on the on the plane. Go to camera view and drag it on the, the y axis. 
closer, farther, I don't care. Doesn't matter, whatever you prefer. Um, um, now we see he, how he's kind of blocky and uh, not very smooth. Uh, yeah, you see what I mean? So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to press set smooth while we select it in. So now he's a bit smoother. Not quite as smooth as we would like, but uh, if we would make it any smoother, that would be a more advanced tutorial. So uh, sorry to you guys out there. We'll just use that for another tutorial. So we have two objects. Let's um, make another cube. Instead of having to go to side, press shift, I mean, uh, space, add, mesh, mesh, cube, da 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 You can pr select your cube, just press shift and D. Press the X key, and woo -hoo, you have a whole other cube. And you can drag it up here. Now, let's go back in the front view. Uh, Z for wireframe, space, add, mesh, uh, cone. Default values. Um, size it down a bit. Press the G key, Z key, drag it up so it's about on the floor. Then drag it with the X to pretty much wherever you want it, kind of in the middle. So, it's a bit the uh, block. You can smooth it out if you'd like. Now to uh, color everything. So, um, let's take our cube here. Go into the Word Materials tab. Add new. Um, let's change the color to, I don't know, let's make it a nice bright red make our cone, let's add new, um, uh, let's make it a, a green, now you can put any colors that you like, sorry I'm going fast, we have a lot to cover, uh, let's make this one up, up like a bluish color in our monkey, let's make him uh, like a brownish color, brown monkey, so now let's test out our scene, render current frame, nice simple simple scene nothing advanced at all all nice and simple nothing complicated so let's wait for our scene to render it should look pretty nice and not that bad not that bad at all we have a cube here another cube monkey head and we have our shadows and you're probably thinking well I don't like that angle of light what if I want more light up here don't worry Go down here and go to textured. Now this is what it's all going to look like um, when the light's hitting and stuff. Now uh, press uh, 7 for top view and then kind of rotate around a bit until you find a... Uh, actually go into camera view and you'll see a light. Make sure you have that selected then go into your, your top view and, and rotate a bit. Now drag your light uh, somewhere so it'll uh, give everything a nice cast of uh, some good nice light so we, if we were in our camera view here we'd have a bit of light here and there and if you go down here if you're still in your materials tab it'll go to the lighting tab uh, drag your energy up just a little bit and it'll make everything brighter it'll be a stronger light now if you uh, duplicate your light shift D drag on your X axis bring it over here uh, Sorry. Bring it over there. Uh, decrease the energy by a lot to about 0.5 something maybe. Something around there. Just so it's a little bit of light, not too much. Now let's render this, this scene again. Let's check it out this time. And now our plane is a bit brighter. Our shapes are a bit brighter. Um, monkey has some shiny points. Shiny spots on him. <laughs> Let's wait. Sorry, I apologize for the bit of a slow computer, but hey, it works with Blender anyway. So we have. All right, now we're dirty, we're we're good here. That kind of looks like we're in a football stadium. Every object has more than one shadow, which is all right. Sometimes uh, people don't like that. I'm not a big fan of it, but it it'll help with your lighting anyway. So you can just ignore the shadows if you want. So. That was pretty much setting up a basic scene, um, and then you can make uh, more different kinds of things by like uh, making things smaller and bigger and rotating them and setting them at different angles. Um, that actually helps too and make it look like they're setting on top of each other and 